Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today's vlog is actually a little rant on why I think everyone wants to be a photographer these days. Where can I begin? Fuck. It's all started from the notion of likes and being internet famous. Everyone really, really wants to be internet famous these days. Like, everyone's just pushing for the likes and how many shares they can get or how many views they can get. It's all just a numbers game these days. When the real true essence of photography is the art itself. You just need to appreciate it and just value what you get from the experience. People these days want to buy the most expensive cameras. Like, for example, I got hit up by a 16 year old guy that just bought, bought, not even bought, he just got and received a new, brand new Canon 5D Mark III. And that, that's the camera I'm using right now, right? He just started photography a couple months ago and it just, it just astounds me that this, this little kid can afford this, or maybe it's his parents' money, you know? And he's using probably the, a professional, it's a professional camera. And he's just using that over like a beginner DSLR where he should be using that because there are so many more limitations on that. And to be honest, those limitations are the things that help you just push the boundaries in creativity and they teach you and just, they make you learn as much as you can without like holding, it holds you back, but it makes you grow so much more, so much more faster than just buying the most expensive camera and just taking photos because those limitations really, really make you think. For example, Canon 60D, those are a beginner entry DSLR. Um, those, not even, nowhere near as expensive as the 5D. And what happens is they are so bad in low light situations that when you're using one, you really want to look for the best lighting available. So it makes you think really hard. You get Sony's these days, A7S for example, they are just absolutely ridiculous in low light. Like, check this out. You can basically shoot in the dark and see, that's, that's just too easy, do you know what I mean? You have to have a camera when you first start that will make you think, make you just really appreciate like lighting, which is like one of the most important aspects of photography. Everyone these days wants to pick up the best camera, take the best photo, and just upload it on Instagram, and just wait for the likes to roll in. And the whole notion of likes and internet fame is just, it's ruining, it's ruining the whole like photography thing for like these young kids, because now they wanna, they think like the gear is gonna make them a better photographer, or they wanna invest in the most expensive gear when they've just started a couple months back. You know, like, people just really need to slow down and really appreciate and take in all the experiences that you have through photography. Because, let me show you my first camera that I ever, ever bought. Now this right here is my first ever DSLR. It's the uh, Nikon, what is it? Nikon D3100. And I use this for a lot of the stuff that I got up to in America. And um, I even actually use this for like a lot of the, my first ever paid gigs in videography. This camera right here is exactly what you need to take incredible photos or incredible videos. You could even use an iPhone if you want, honestly. This, this little shitty, like, this really helped me learn the craft of photography and videography because it really made me think of, I'm always, always looking for the best lighting, always, because I'm, this, this camera right here is so shit in low lighting, it's amazing compared to the 5D that I have right now. But honestly, my tip for everyone that's just beginning, Start off with the most basic DSLR that you have and can afford, and then slowly take your time. Once you can, once you've mastered it, and you can't take any better photos after that, just move on and upgrade slowly, really slowly. Because, like I said before, gear does not matter. Gear doesn't make the shot; you make the shot. The photographer does. That's my wrap for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.